Uh, well, my name is Davido Indongo. Well, basically, I was born in Namibia, Vendu, uh, in 1994. So, I'm actually a visual artist. So, I was in primary, I started from Kamal's Primary School, then later moved to David Baseda Note, which is in Kamal's Dab. And then, uh, throughout my studies at David Baseda Note, it's where actually I found myself in terms of like. Uh, my experience of becoming an artist, so because they was that kind of they they kind of have an art course over there at Dava Bazina Note. So actually, it's where I joined. Uh, I had uh, visual arts uh, as one of my high level subjects at Dava Bazina Note, and then later throughout the year, as I finished my grade 12, I I kind of just I, I found that like kind of these questions like kind of what what do I actually want to become like. A lot of people are following in terms of uh, doctors and all that. Uh, uh, so I just decided, let me pursue myself in this career as an artist. So later, I kind of joined the College of the Art, which three years back. So I'm actually currently a graduate of the College of the Art. I graduated last year, so that's where I found myself to be an artist right now. Uh, first of all, when I started my years at the college, uh, I kind of didn't know actually what's at the college. Uh, I just thought it's where you get like kind of experience in more drawing and all that, but yo, I was like kind of surprised and all that. So there was a lot of uh, things and uh, let me say, we actually did ceramics, uh, print making, textiles and all that, but let me say I kind of fell in love more in mixed media. So. I kind of started to major more in mixed media, uh, where I kind of did a lot of, where you just use found materials and found objects and just placing them together. So I saw like kind of, okay, I, I can start using mixed media as my technique and that's how I started my technique. Uh, well, my art basically speaks about uh, the learners and students that actually don't have the privilege of studying without electricity and light. So I mainly concentrated on learners and students that live in rural areas. Uh, as you can see, I portrayed a, a lady that's just kind of in terms of studying and then I kind of first I, I worked out with pointillism format, like using a fine art line on my book. Then later I kind of just painted over the, I, I used acrylic paint. Then. One of my found objects here, it's kind of, uh, I used leather. I used leather and just to express the the, the jewelry pieces and I also used, uh, these are beads, like real jewelry pieces. So it's found objects that I kind of did, uh, just picked up and just express on this painting that I did over there. Uh, before I kind of, these final outcomes came, uh, I actually kind of took a, 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 a images with my photography skills that I kind of pursued. It's how I encountered, like, kind of, for the outcomes to come out my paintings. So before, then, let me say, it's just I express myself throughout, just for the learners and students that don't have the privilege of studying. So I felt the soul and kind of just their grief or that opportunity of not having light and or electricity just to study at night. So I just wanted to express their the feeling. So yeah, this is my heart. That's what it speaks. Uh, basically this one, it's made with charcoal pencil. I draw it with charcoal pencil. Uh, I use real, uh, it's fabric to, to play around with the patterns. Uh, I play it around with acrylic paint. So actually what I do is just mixed media art pieces that I actually pursue in terms of what I do. Let me say I chose mixed media because it's an easy way of working with materials. And it's actually not, it doesn't damage you, that's why I chose mixed media. Like you actually get to experience and get to find a lot of fun objects and just different types of material where you can start working on. So I kind of, it's, it's my materials that I use, I use actually fabric, uh, beads, uh, found objects, just let me say small ones. That's why I thought, uh, sorry, uh, I, I started to, I kind of manipulate my 
my material just to bring them together in terms of to make it one piece. So as my pieces combine together, I also like to emphasize using a, a marker pen or fine art liner. So I kind of also do pointillism. So actually I was inspired by Swart uh, and Wilson Kize. So he's actually a pointillism artist, South African artist. So yeah. Uh, well, I'm actually quite comfortable about my mediums that I use because it's actually easy to use, easy to find because it's actually a medium where you use, it's a everyday thing that you kind of see, like you just see an object there, you pick it up, you use it as an artist, artists, like as you say, like artists don't throw anything away, anything that you see, gather, use it like kind of in terms of like in order to use it to create an art piece out of it. So I'm actually comfortable with my mediums that I use. Uh, well, my artworks don't actually just come up like that. So I actually, I, I first, I'm, I'm actually also a photographer. So basically before I do an art piece, I actually take quite a lot of uh, images of what I want to portray and what I want to emphasize on the subject that I want to take take on. So actually as I go throughout the town and all in my, throughout my community actually to take the images that I want to create the art piece with. So I'm actually, that's why I'm also a photographer. As I go out there, I take images before I kind of pursue it into an art piece just to make it unique. So I don't actually take images from the internet and all that. So I kind of emphasize my own images that I take. Uh, well, actually, my mediums, photography and my artworks, actually, uh, I would say they they are one. And because w without the photography piece that I kind of take, they won't be my art pieces. That, so actually, I use both of them. But let me say I, I prefer photography because let me say it's the main source where the art piece is generated from. So. Uh, photography, I would say it's one of my major ones and I would like to take further into that, into the, just into the course of photography, like to get more experience with people. Thank you for watching. Your views and opinions will grow the progressive artist. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe for more creative content.